Um, before we proceed, I just want to, to say that because uh, we are under a COVID situation and we have rules to follow that people should sit at least two meters away from each other. So we have an ample space. We just space ourselves out. Uh, that would be great. Thank you, Mohsen. Dr. Aruj uh, Akhtar Zaidi was one of the pioneers of Pakistani cinema. Uh, a brother, a mentor, a friend, a human rights activist, a community member, a father, a father-in-law. He had many hats on his hat. Wow. And in the end, he went from this world a successful Shahre Ahibad. He Masha, served Masha. the Windsor community. Amari Dwahe, Ke Aj, Unke Elekhana, Derebatun, and Majunhe, Ham Sub Milke, Momenin, Bibi Kederse, Unki Makfretri Dwakerenge, Inshallah. Hazarin me, Unka Baras Azada Majunhe, Matar Haskarunga, Ahmad Aruj Zaidi say, Kevo Tishri Plain, or Hadiai Kalam Pitch. मैं वालिद मरहूम के चार अशार पेश करना चाहता हूँ किसी जगह अगर आबाद होने जाते हैं किसी जगह अगर आबाद होने जाते हैं किसी जगह अगर आबाद होने जाते हैं ना अक्रबा ना किसी आशना को ढूंढते हैं ना अक्रबा ना किसी आशना को ढूंढते हैं मान लाखों पढ़े माशा गमे हुसैन से मानुस हैं कुछ इतने दिल इतने दिल तमाम दिल गमे हुसैन से मानुस अरे बतूल के तमाम दिल गमे हुसैन से मानुस हैं कुछ इतने दिल जहाँ भी जाते हैं अर्शे Hamme Hussein se manus hai, kuch itne dil. Jahan bhi jaate hain, parshe aza ko dhoonte. Waqia, waqia. Dilon mein apne nahi hai, khwaye hirso havas. Aha, aha. Dilon mein apne nahi hai, khwaye hirso havas. Khwaye hirso havas ko kya kehna? Mohib Hussein ke hai. Aha, Karbala, 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 अजीब लोग हैं डरते नहीं हवादिस से क्या कहने अजीब लोग हैं डरते नहीं हवादिस से चिराग हाथ में लेकर हवा को ढूंढते हैं वाह 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 हाथ पर लेकर हवा को ढूंढते हैं अजीब लोग हैं डरते नहीं हवादिस से चिराग हाथ में लेकर हवा को ढूंढते हैं सुभान अल्लाह हक अदा कर रहे हैं वादे में मरूंगा my father had a friend um, in Muradabad, India, Mir Nazir Bakri. He is a renowned poet.
तुझको ये इनाम मिला है कुदरत से तुझको ये इनाम मिला है कुदरत से जो आया है तेरे शेरों पर जो रूज तुझको ये इनाम मिला है कुदरत से जो आया है तेरे शेरों पर ये रूज शोर मचा है तेरी बधा सराई का शोर मचा है तेरी बधा सराई का तेरे जिना में आज रूज अख्तर ये रूज तेरे जिना में आज रूज अख्तर ये रूज तुझको ये इनाम मिला है कुदरत से जो आया है तेरे शेरों पर ये रूज शोर मचा है तेरी मधा सराई का जी मोहसिन भाई आपको मेरी आवाज आ रही है जी 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 अच्छा बावज बुलंद आ रहे सलवार अल्लाह मोहम्मद मैंने मुनीर वीडियो वीडियो अपना ऑन कर लीजिए वीडियो पर क्लिक कर लें अच्छा Is it going? आपकी आवाज आ रही है सिर्फ लेफ्ट साइड पे नीचे वीडियो का एक साइन होगा उसको जब क्लिक करेंगे तो आपका वीडियो आ जाएगा राइट राइट एक सेकेंड आई समाउ द कैमरा इज नॉट वर्किंग बट वी कैन हेयर यू मैंने ये सलाम है डेडी का मैंने कभी जिंदगी में तो उनकी ये जसारत नहीं की तो मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ की अहल खाना और खास तौर पर डेडी मुझे इस गुस्ताखी के लिए माफ करेंगे तो कोशिश करता हूँ न कोई मनसबो जागीर रहने के लिए है न कोई मनसबो जागीर रहने के लिए है न कोई खाब न ताबीर रहने के लिए है रहने के लिए क्या कहना मिटा नामो निशान हुरमला लानत की यूरिश से मिटा मिटा नामो निशान हुरमला लानत की यूरिश से सवाल तिश्नाए बेशीर रहने के लिए रहने है के लिए है बहुत अच्छा पढ़ा है मुनीर माशाल्लाह फना हो जाएंगे सब नुत्ख और नुताख आलम में फना हो जाएंगे सब नुत्ख और नुताख आलम में मगर एक खुदबा हमशीर रहने के लिए है जो रखते हैं अजा खानों को रोशन उनको मुजदा हो ये मोहसिन भाई आपके लिए और झरना भाभी के लिए है जो रखते हैं अजा खानों को रोशन उनको मुजदा हो जहाँ में एक यही तनवीर रहने के लिए है यही 
جو رکھتے ہیں ازا خانوں کو روشن ان کو مزدہ ہو جہاں میں ایک یہی تنویر رہنے کے لیے ہے جنہوں نے بیڑیاں پہنائی وہ تو ہو گئے معدوم جنہوں نے بیڑیاں پہنائی وہ تو ہو گئے معدوم مگر ایک صاحب زنجیر رہنے کے لیے ہے لکھی جائے گی جو بھی مدھت آل محمد میں لکھی جائے گی جو بھی مدھت آل محمد میں زمانے میں وہی تحریر رہنے کے لیے ہے خدا کا فاطمہ زہرا سے وعدہ ہے قیامت تک خدا کا فاطمہ زہرا سے وعدہ ہے قیامت تک ازائے شبر و شبیر رہنے کے لیے ہے ہر ایک آشور کی صبح یہ صدا مقتل سے آتی ہے ہر ایک آشور کی صبح یہ صدا مقتل سے آتی ہے علی اکبر تیری تکبیر رہنے کے لیے ہے ہر ایک شام غریبہ جاتے جاتے ہم سے کہتی ہے ہر ایک شام غریبہ جاتے جاتے ہم سے کہتی ہے نوائے زینب دلگیر رہنے کے لیے ہے اور یہ حاصل شعر ہے غمس کا ہے شریک غم ہمیشہ ہم نہیں ہوں گے غمس کا ہے شریک غم ہمیشہ ہم نہیں ہوں گے خوشی ہے غم شبیر رہنے کے لیے ہے غمس کا ہے شریک غم ہمیشہ ہم نہیں ہوں گے غمس کا ہے شریک غم ہمیشہ ہم نہیں ہوں گے خوشی ہے غم شبیر رہنے کے لیے ہے اور وقت ہے عروج ایک حرف بھی تیرا اگر مقبول ہو جائے عروج ایک حرف بھی تیرا اگر مقبول ہو جائے تو پھر کہنا کہ یہ تحریر رہنے کے لیے باواز بلند سلوار میں بڑا ہو رہا تھا تو اردو بہت مشکل تھی میرے لیے سب سے زیادہ کمزور سبجیکٹ اردو تھا اور شادی وہاں ہوئی سسرال میں جن کی سب سے بڑی طاقت اور قوت اردو تھی پندرہ سال ہو گئے شادی کو مجھے آف نہیں کہنا ہے بچپن میں جو صاحب آتے تھے قرآن پاک پڑھانے ان سے بھی بہت پیٹا کہ بیٹا حلق سے نکالو حلوا کاف بہت مشکل ہو جاتی اب آج انہوں نے کہا مجھے پڑھنے کو تو ان کا جو کلام ہے اس میں اتنی کاف ہے پہاڑ چڑھ رہا ہوں تو جی اگر اگر غلطی لگے بیسکلی یہ ہے کہ علی کی جتنی تعریف کرنے کم ہے قلم گھس لیں کتابیں ختم ہو گئی سفے ختم ہو گئے لیکن علی کی تعریف ختم نہیں ہوگی اچھا پیراپریز کیا ماشاء اللہ شکستہ پا ہے قلم اور مدھا باقی ہے شکستہ پا ہے قلم اور مدھا باقی ہے جبین فکر ہے خم 
और बड़ा बाकी वाह पढ़े माशा ये मदा खानी मुश्किल कुशा की है मुश्किल ये मदा खानी मुश्किल कुशा की है मुश्किल लरज रहा है कलम और मदा बाकी माशा माशा क्या कलम फरमा रहे खुदा कहा उसे लोगों ने खुदा कहा उसे लोगों ने ना खुदा भी कहा खुदा कहा उसे लोगों ने ना खुदा ना खुदा भी कहा मगर खुदा की कसम खुदा की कसम और मदा बाकी है क्या कहना हुआ है किस से अदा मजहत अली का हक यार क्या अच्छा मिसरा है फिर पढ़ो हुआ है किससे आया मिधत अली का हक खजल है लोहो कलम और मदा और मदा बहुत अच्छा पढ़ है माशा शुरू में आप एक और शेर जनाब उन्होंने पता नहीं क्या सोच के लिखा होगा शरी ने तमाम हो गई मधे अली में उम्र और हजब हाल है ये शेर तमाम हो गई मजहे अली में उम्र और लबों पे आ गया दम और मदा बाकी है तमाम हो गई मधे अली में उम्र और तमाम हो गई मधे अली में उम्र और लबो पे आ गया दम और मधा बाकी जैसा कि आपको मालूम है कि हमारे पास मौलाना अब्बास के लिए वॉशिंगटन ही मीटिंग सो Uh, we have to cut everything short i have 10 minutes remaining and i have uh, four people who are going to present the kalam so if we can just keep it you hai ali ka zikr payambar ke saath saath ah you hai ali ka zikr you hai ali ka zikr payambar ke saath saath जिस तरह आईना रहे जोहर के साथ साथ जिस तरह आईना रहे फिर पढ़िए बेटा यू है अली का जिक्र पैगंबर के साथ साथ जिस तरह आईना रहे जोहर के साथ साथ बहुत अच्छा पढ़ रहे हैं आप माशाल्लाह सलात अल्लाहुम्मा सल्ले अला मुहम्मद वाले मुहम्मद माशाल्लाह बेटा माशाल्लाह रहिए फरदान और आप रहिए इधर बेटा एक और सवाल अल्लाह सल्ले जिक्र अली के सदके में मुझको मिला उरूज अरे वाह जिक्र अली के सदके में सदके में मुझको मिला उरूज वो पढ़ना है माशाल्लाह रज कतरा हूँ जी रहा हूँ समंदर के साथ साथ जिक्र अली के जी सदके में मुझको मिला उरूज कतरा हूँ जी रहा हूँ समंदर के साथ जीत रही है और नेक्स्ट इज समन हु इज वेरी फेवरेट एंड माई डियरेस्ट टू मी बहुत सारे शेयर मुझे याद नहीं है लेकिन उनका एक कथा मैंने उन्हें 24 साल के बाद सुनाया है लाहौर फिर लाहौर मैं दरखास्त करूंगा जावेद जैदी साहब से कि वो पुलिस तशीफ लाई मैं और आके जितना से जितना वक्त मैं ले सकता हूँ ज्यादा लूंगा ताकि मौलवी इंतजार
मेरी पूरी जिंदगी स्कूल में गुजरेगी और मदरसों में और भैया की इस महफिल की जान जो थे वो हमारी डेजी तो मुझे बहुत प्यारी है और पुशिया जी को जो बहुत पसंद करती और उससे बड़ा मुश्किल ये वक्त देखा है तो ये हमारे लिए बड़ा मुश्किल वक्त है और ये हमारा वक्त और हम इसे लेंगे और इरज ने और फरजान ने और रूमी ने जिस तरीके से हक अदा किया भैया जी का मैं नहीं समझता कि हमारे खानदान में कोई भाई बहन हमारा ऐसा है जिनके बच्चों ने इस तरीके से मैं जब से यहाँ आया मुझे इन्होंने संभाला हुआ है तो हम उसी जानते हैं और भैया जी का शेर अभी पढ़ा रूमी ने कि फर्श अजा के अलावा हमें हमें कुछ नहीं चाहिए होता है हम ना लिफाफे लेते हैं हम ना पैसे लेते हैं हम फर्श अजा पे हम मौला इसलिए जाते हैं कि हमारे दिल को तस्किन हो और आप जो लोग हैं जो जैनविन लोग हैं उनको सुन तो मैं माफी चाहता हूं अगर मैंने कोई ऐसी बात नहीं है लेकिन ये लिया मेरा बच्चा है मैं तो गोलों में खिलाया है और हमारे घर का बच्चा है और बहुत काबिल है और मुझे उम्मीद है कि वो मेरा इंतजार करे और मैं देवसी का रूमी का अर्शिया का झरना का मौसम का गुड्डू का अरीब जैदी जिन्हें कहते हैं साहेब दीवान शायर अभी मुझे ही शरफ हासिल नहीं हुआ वो आएंगे इन लेकिन बच्चा ऐसा है गुड्डू कि उसने ये महफिल सजाई है और मैं मुझसे का शुक्रिया अदा करता हूँ डेजी बेटा तू सुन रही हो ये सब बच्चे मेरे डेजी रोजी फिरदौस और भैया जी लोगों से बहुत मोहब्बत करते थे सबसे और सब हमारे भैया से बहुत मोहब्बत करते थे मेरा और भैया का जो पैस टाइम था दो वी है टीचर्स ऑफ इंग्लिश लिटरेचर लेकिन हमारी जो मादरी जबान थी उस समय प्यार था और उसका हमें जो मौका मिलता था वो दर बतूर पर मिलता था जब हम वहां जाते थे तो हमें कोई जल्दी नहीं थी बल्कि हम तो चाहते हैं कि यहाँ बैठे रहे रात तक और जितनी खिदमत हो सके करे तो होगी किसी को जल्दी हमें कोई नहीं भैया जी की जब तदफीन हुई नजम भाई नजम भाई मेरे सामने बैठे मेरे बुजुर्ग हैं और इन्होंने ये स्पॉन्सर भी हैं उस जैदी के और शबाना भाभी शबाना भाभी नहीं आ सकती हैं मैं भाभी की इजाजत से एक जनाजे पे मैंने उनके शेर लिखे थे और ये जो काफ कलम नहीं कह सकते थे इन्होंने भी कमान पढ़ा तो इसका अनुमान नजरे भैया जी हम उन्हें भैया जी कहते थे अपने वाले को बाबू जी कहते थे भाभी के खाक में खाक में शरीक लहू रख दिया खाक में शरीक लहू रख दिया है अली सुन रहे हो तो नाम ही ऐसा है कि तुम अगर नहीं सुनोगे तो क्या तुम भी सुने खाक में शरीक लहू रख दिया है एक जमीन खुदा खाक में शरीके लहू रख दिया 
اے زمین خدا تون نے آرزو رکھ دیا تمہیں یاد کرنے بچوں اور یہ میرے بھائی کی کوالٹیز تھی وہ میرا مینٹر تھا اس کی نقل کرتے کرتے کرکٹ گلی ڈنڈا بھائی سے بھائی کی اور پھر اس کے بعد شاعری اور ہم دونوں نے انگریزی ادب میں میسٹرس کیا وہ پروفیسر ہو گئے میں کاپی رائٹر رہا تو وہ میرے مینٹر بھی تھے تو میں نے ان سے سیکھا ہے بڑا ڈر لگتا تھا جب انہیں شعر سناتے بھائی معلم معلم ٹیوٹر کو بھی کہتے ہیں اور مینٹر کو بھی کہتے ہیں انیس شاعر زیدی یہ میرے بھائی کی کوالٹیز تھی ہمارے یہاں کوئی ایسا بھائی نہیں ہمارے باپ کے بعد بابو جی بس بھیا جی بس اور نیکسٹ بابو جی بڑا بیٹا ویسی بھی آپ کا مینٹر ہو کہ بھائی مولم انیس شاعر زیدی کبھی آپ کو یاد میں ایسا ملا جس میں تمام یہ خاصیت نہیں ایک ساتھ تو یہ میرا بھائی بھائی مولم انیس شاعر زیدی آسوں میں بھگو کر بزو رکھ دیا کہ خاک میں شریک لہو رکھ دیا اے زمین خدا انہیں آرزو رکھ دیا ہے اور بھائی مول منی شاعر زیدی آسوں میں بھگو کر بزو رکھ دیا کہ بھائی میرا تھا سدا دل میں میرے رہتا اب پڑھیے نا اس کو بھائی میرا تھا سدا دل میں میرے رہتا تھا جہاں جاتا تھا وہ محفل سے سجا لیتا تھا یعنی آج شام ہے جو ٹی وی ان کی یاد میں کر رہے ہیں محفل آپ ہو سکے تو اس کا لنک لے لیجیے گا حضرت داغ سے یہ ہمارے بیٹھے حضرت کالم تو یہ آپ کو دیں گے اس کا لنک تو ان کی یاد میں ایک بہت بڑا جلسہ ہو رہا ہے آج اور شب اگر وقت ہو تو گھر پہ سنیے گا تو آپ کو پتا چلے گا کہ کون آدمی اس نے اپنی زندگی منظر میں گزاری ہماری وجہ سے وہ یہاں آیا اور ہم شرمندہ آئے کہ ہم یہاں رہ نہیں سکے ہم لوگ سب بکھر گئے در بدر ہو گئے امید فاضلی کا شیر یاد آتا ہے کیا ہے ایک منٹ یہ شاعر اہل بیت ہے کراچی کا جو مر گیا اس کا شعر ہے کہ پیاس کا سلسلہ پیاس کا کہ بھائی نہیں سلسلہ پیاس کا بتاتا ہے سلسلہ پیاس کا بتاتا ہے پیاس دریا کہاں ہو جاتا ہے کہ سلسلہ پیاس کا بتاتا ہے پیاس دریا کہاں ہو سلسلہ پیاس کا بتاتا ہے پیاس دریا کہاں بجھاتا ہے گھر تو ایسا کہاں کا تھا لیکن محسن گھر تو ایسا کہاں کا تھا لیکن در بدر ہیں تو یہ بھائی میرا تھا سدا دل میں میرے رہتا تھا جہاں جاتا تھا وہ محفل سے سجا لیتا تھا میں نے اسے سیکھا ہے انہیں دل دے کے چراہوں کو جلا دیتا تھا جلا کہنا ہوتا زندگی شکر ہے کہ ایک صاحب کہہ رہے کہ معلوم ہے جلا کہ خونے دل دے کے چراہوں کو جلا دیتا تھا اور سونی محفل کو وہ شیروں سے جگہ دیتا کر لیتا کہ زیدی وہ طرز سخن اس نے کیا ہے زیدی جو ہے میں تقلق Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Muhammad. May this bring uh, light to uh, to his soul. Ashir ke din tum jazaye madhe hai.
ہماری قدر و قیمت رو شر دیکھنا تم ہماری قدر و قیمت روز شر دیکھنا کو چونکہ 
इस खान वादे के सबसे छोटे भाई हैं आपके वो लेकिन सबसे बड़े बुजुर्ग वही हैं <laughs> अपने भाई की जिंदगी के बारे में अगर कुछ कहना चाहे बहुत अच्छा अगर कोई सलाम पढ़ना चाहे या कोई कथा पढ़ना चाहे मोहसिन मेरे ख्याल में अगर बहुत शुक्रिया बहुत शुक्रिया आपका और मेरी गुजारिश है कि अगर तमाम हाजरीन महफिल हाजरीन मजलिस अपने फोन्स अपनी डिवाइस को म्यूट कर दें क्योंकि अब हम मौलाना की तरफ जाएंगे यहाँ से भैया जी के लिए कहना सुनना पढ़ना बहुत था बहुत है बहुत रहेगा सारी जिंदगी सिर्फ इतना क्या बहुत बहुत कुछ कहना था लेकिन अब वक्त नहीं है और हम लोग बाईस तेईस मिनट इस वक्त लेट हैं भैया जी से क्या कहें उनसे बिछड़ के जिंदा हैं इससे ज्यादा शर्मंदगी और क्या होगी उनके ही चार मिसरे हैं मौलाना अब्बास एलिया को जहमत देने से पहले बड़े नहायत ही शर्मिंदा हूँ और माजरत चाहता हूँ अब्बास एलिया से इस तखिर की और बाकी तमाम सिलसिलों की एक पावा से बुलंद सलवात पढ़िए भैया जी के चार मिसरे हैं कि ना जामे ना खुदाई है ना दावा पारसाई का ये जो शरफ हासिल है हैदर की गदाई का नजफ से अरूज अपना बुलावा जाने कब आए बदन में मुस्तरब है रूह का तायर रिहाई का उन्हें रिहाई मिली और हमसे बहुत बेहतर जगह पे हैं दर बतूल में ये सिलसिला आज है और उस हवाले से भैया जी ही के चार मिसरे हैं कि सलाम आता है जिनको खुदा का उनको रूज सलाम आता है जिनको खुदा का उनको उरूज मलायका भी रसूल अनाम कहते हैं मगर रसूल करें आके जिनके दर पे सलाम हम उनके बेटों को अपना इमाम कहते हैं इमाम कहते हैं मेरी दस बस्ता गुजारिश है मौलाना बासेलिया से कि आज की मजलिस से खिताब फरमाए इस मुख्तर वक्त में न सिर्फ ये कि उन्होंने एक टैक्स के बाद कहा कि नहीं मैं बिल्कुल मैं पढ़ूंगा रुज भाई की मजलिस में मैं हाजिर हूँ मेरी गुजारिश है मौलान अब्बास एलिया से कि वो आज की मजलिस से खिताब फरमाए अब्बास मौलान अब्बास एलिया मौलाना अगर आप अपना वीडियो ऑन कर लें तो हम आप तक पहुंच जाते हैं या मोहसिन जैसा आप मौलाना आ गए हैं ये आवाज क्लियर है बिल्कुल बिल्कुल आवाज वीडियो भी आ रहा है और माशाल्लाह से आवाज भी आ रही है एक दफा बे इंतहा माजरत है आपसे फिर बात है अल्लाह <laughs> سماءً ولا أرض أرضا 
ثم الصلاة والسلام والتحية والإكرام على سيد الفتحاء سيد المرسلين والأنبياء أبي القاسم محمد المصطفى اللهم صل على محمد وعلى الجوهرة القدسية البتول العذراء سيدة النساء فاطمة الزهراء وعلى بعلها أمير المؤمنين وبنيها الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا لا مصلنا لا سيما على بقية الله وحجته الكبرى الذي بيمنه رزق الورى وبوجوده ثبتت الأرض والسماء ولولاه لساحة الأرض بأحدها واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم أجمعين من إلى قيام يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وآله وسلم كما نقل في جامع الأخبار أخبرني جبرائيل عن الله تعالى أنه قال إذا وجهت إلى عبد من عبيدي مصيبة في بدنه أو ماله أو ولده ثم استقبل ذلك بصبر جميل استحييت منه يوم القيامة أن أنصب له ميزانا أو أنشر له ديوانا صلوات First of all, I would like to request all of you to please recite uh, Surat Al-Fatiha and three times Surat al class for my uncle Sayyid Urud Zaidi son of Sayyid after Raza Zaidi. And also a request to please recite one Surat Al-Fatiha for my grandmother, Sayyida Rehan Fatima. Both of them, please. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has blessed the humankind for creating the death and creating the life. And actually, if you turn to the Holy Quran, Quran talks about the creation of death first, ahead of the creation of the life. He's the one who created the death and the life so he can um, so he can, um, he's the one who created the death and the life so he can test you. So the mention of death comes ahead of the mentioning of life. And death, as a matter of fact, is a creation of Allah. We thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for creating that. This is how we all uh, end up uh, meeting with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala 
because death is defined as liqa'ullah, meeting with the Lord. And for a mu'min who is pious, a mu'min who has iman and taqwa, he is going to end up in all those eternal blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he was striving for throughout his life. Allah has said in the Holy Quran, وَلَنَبْلُوَنَّكُمْ بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ وَنَقْسٍ مِّنَ الْأَمْوَالِ وَالْأَنفُسِ وَالْسَّمَرَاتِ We are definitely, definitely going to test you بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ with something of the fear. بِشَيْءٍ مِّنَ الْخَوْفِ وَالْجُوعِ and hunger. Allah is going to test us through the hunger. وَنَقْسِمْ مِنَ amwal And the decrease in the wealth. Life is always changing, evolving. It's not all the same all the time. Everybody has ups and downs. And these are the tests of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. نَقْسِمْ مِنَ amwal Decrease in the wealth. anfus and decrease in the life. We would end up losing our lives. Well, was samarat and the decrease in the fruits, which has been interpreted in the tafsir as death of the children. Children are like the fruit of life. And then later on, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives the glad tidings in Basharat, the Bashir is Sabirin. Let, give the glad tidings and bashara to those who exercise sabr and patience. Those people, when a calamity befalls them, they say, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi so This uh, sentence in Arabic, we call it kalimatul istirja. Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rajiun. There are some people in our culture, especially in our Desi culture, when somebody dies, they say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun, with the intention of that dead person. But it's not just about the dead person to be included, it's about everybody, including our own selves. Inna lillah, definitely we all, we belong to Allah. Wa inna ilayhi rajiun, and definitely we are returning back towards him every moment of our life every breath that we breathe is taking us closer to death death time is something something fixed by allah as his ni'mat and blessings uh, upon us are endless so and because of the fixed time of death uh, it never gets delayed and because of the fact it's never disclosed to us we get prepared for the death all the time. If it was disclosed to us, a sinner like me would continue to do the business as usual until the 11th hour. And then I'll end up doing the tawbah at the end. So we thank Allah. We are grateful to our Lord not to disclose the fixed time of death for us. So that's how we can improve. We can learn. We can increase in the knowledge. We can increase in our values. We can acquire and maintain and excel in our taqwa and piety so that we can acquire the eternal blessings and eternal success. So uh, this ayat of Holy Quran, which I recited in the beginning, um, before I come to that ayat, we need to understand that sunnatul imtihan, the divine tradition of testing is a tradition which is unchangeable, like the rest of the traditions of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has certain formulas mentioned in the Holy Quran. We call them as sunanul ilahiya, quote unquote, the divine formulas, the divine traditions, the divine sunnats. And Allah has legislated those sunnats and formulas, and He is running the universe based on those formulas. If a person wants to be successful, he needs to adapt himself according to those divine formulas in order to become successful. If I fail to understand and change and adapt myself according to 
the divine formulas, I will end up becoming a loser, a failure. Divine formulas, formulas of our Lord are not going to bend for my ignorance. One of those unchangeable formulas, I said unchangeable because it's mentioned in another verse of Holy Quran where Allah says, you're never going to find a change in the sunnah of Allah. So divine formula change. And thus, one of those formulas mentioned in the Holy Quran is the fact that he's going to test us. And this is extremely important for a mu'min being tested. So we are going to be tested by all those things mentioned in the Holy Quran. And the higher we get in our ma'rifat, the level of in-depth recognition of Allah, the higher we get in our level of iman and faith, the more we are going to be tested. The lesser is my iman and ma'rifat, my faith and in-depth recognition of Allah, the lesser I would be tested. And those people who lack the faith, those people who lack the piety, lack the ma'rifat, obviously their level of test is going to be in accordance to in accordance to what they, what level they belong. So uh, it depends on our level. So we find the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, alayhim salatu wasalam, have been tested with the highest level of tests. Didn't our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam say in his hadith, Ma uziya nabiyun mislama uzito. No prophet has been tortured the way uh, similar to what I was tortured. All the pains that Imam Hussain salam went through, all the pains and sufferings and tests that Imam Hassan salam went through, all the pains and tests that Imam Amir Mumineen salam went through, Sayyidah Fatima salam went through. This is totally understandable because these personalities are the highest they are superior than all the rest of the prophets of god they are the ones who are created from the at the first point the first thing allah created was my light and from the light of the holy prophet the nur and light of imam Ali was created and the nur of sayyidah fatima and the rest of the imams was created from the same, same light of Allah. So they were the creation number one, and they are the closest and the highest. They deserve to be tested the most. Al-Bala'u Muakkalum Bil Ambiya. The test is designated for the prophets. So, Summal uh, Awliya, after that, the beloved personalities, the beloved servants of God. Summal Amsal, Fal Amsal. And after that, whoever resembles the prophets more is going to be tested more. Whoever resembles lesser is going to be tested lesser. So everybody is going to be tested. There is no distinction in that. It's just that it depends on my faith and ma'rifat and piety. So when a bala arrives, it's a test for a believer. For a disbeliever, it's a punishment of God. For the, when the bala comes on the prophets or the imam, it's a means of elevation of their levels. It, it's going, going to come on everybody. No one is, ex, is exempt from the testing from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So it's narrated in the narration we learn in the Mahmuna Riwaya that whenever the child of somebody is taken away, Allah asks the angels, what did he say when you take away uh, uh, his child? And if the angels reply back, oh, this guy, when his child passed away, he did your hum, your praise, and he um, did the sabr and patience over that bala. So in that case, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, you know, the angels say that he did the hum, the kalimatul istirja, means inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. That's the correction in the narration. 
So Allah says, uh, make a palace for him, a house for him in paradise. And that house is going to be called Baytul Ham, house of the praise. This is where our scholars say the reaction number one is what is and what counts in the real sense. So, you know, when I go through a pain and I go through a suffering, when some dear one passes away, so what's my reaction number one? Do I freak out over why in the world is this happening to me? I'm such a nice guy. Why is Allah doing this and this and this to me? Why did I lose my job? Why did I went through this pain and suffering? Do I started to freak out? Then I fail to understand the sunnah of test of Allah, the whole sunnah. I miss out on the whole phenomenon. Or I don't freak out. I am patient. I don't lose my sabr and patience. In fact, I do. Uh, I thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah to grant me the patience so I can continue to be resilient. So this is where a person should always remind him of with this kalimatul istirja by saying, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. We all definitely belong to Allah and we are all returning, we are returning back towards him. Reaction number one counts. If the reaction number one is patience and praise of Allah, we get a palace in paradise in the name of Baytul Hamd, house of the praise. If the reaction number one is freaking out later on, lots of people so show patience. You know, your friends show up, your relatives show up, and they all console you and support you, assist you. Uh, but later on, showing our patience is good, but it's not a big deal. Because lots of people show patience later on. But what's the first reaction? That shows the ma'rifat and the level of ma'rifat and in-depth recognition of the person. So um, this um, ayat of Holy Quran um, uh, relates, teaches us the etiquettes of doing the sabr. And the hadith from the Holy Prophet says, Man istaja'a in the musibah, Jabbar Allahu Musibatahu. Whoever you know cites the kalimatul istirja means inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Allah compensates for his musibat and calamity. Wa ahsana uqbahu and makes his hereafter good. Um, and wa jaala lahu khalafan salihan yawbahu and provides for him a lineage with which he is a saleh, a good doing lineage with which he's uh, pleased. So in this ayat of Holy Quran is in the real sense referring to Amir al-Mu'mineen wa Imam al-Muttaqeen Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi wa salatu wa salam. Recite salawat please. So tonight we are commemorating the demise of a shair al bayt a person who used to recite ash'ar and poetry in the praise of the prophet and ahl al-bayt this is such a great deed there's something so much beloved in the eyes of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala man qala fina baytan Whoever said a uh, rhyme for Ahlul Bayt salam, for the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt salam, Allah constructs a palace for him in paradise. Mm -hmm. Saying one rhyme in the praise of the Prophet and Ahlul Bayt, they are the most beloved, the most superior. We are supposed to be their servant, right? So, this is such a such a, a beloved act in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Praise of Allah. We need to teach our children to, uh, to stay in touch at all times with the walayat of Amir al muminin wa Imam al muttaqin Ali ibn Abi Talib alayhi salatu wa salam. But that's the key to success. <laughs> that's the key to success. And it's the walayat of Imam Ali alayhi salam who is considered, which is considered to be the mizan and yardstick and the scale and measure 
on the day of judgment in the eyes of Allah. Didn't the Prophet say to Imam Ali salam, Anta mizanul amal. You are the mizan and the scale of the actions. So every single person's actions are going to be judged by Allah on the day of judgment based on his behavior towards the walayat concept of Imam Ali alayhi salam. It's extremely important to understand and to maintain this walayat till the last breaths of our life. Yeah, I said the last breaths of our life because that's what counts. There were people who were born into uh, believing parents, Muslim parents, but at the time some people die, they would be switching sides as it's there in the signs of the final days. Akhirul Zaman, Yusbeho Mu'minan, a guy dawns as a as a believer, a mu'min, by the time the evening arrives, he will convert into a disbeliever. And the opposite is true as well. There were people in Akhra Zaman in the final days who will be yuspeho kafiran wa yumsi mu'minan. So he will be a disbeliever in the day, in the morning, at the dawn. By the evening, he will become a mu'min. We don't want our children switching sides, preserving the iman over walayat of Imam Ali salam till the last breath of our life is a guarantee for a person to succeed. That's the biggest asset of our life. So, um, you know, maintaining the iman. How much the Holy Prophet has introduced Imam Ali salam throughout his life? So we are obliged. Zayinu majalisakum be dikre Ali ibn Abi Talib. Adorn your gatherings with the mention of Ali ibn Abi Talib. Recite salawat, please. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad. Brothers and sisters, please mute yourself. Please keep yourselves mute. So Prophet said. Ali yun ma'al Qur'ane wal Qur'anu ma'a Ali yin. Ali is with Qur'an and the Qur'an is with Ali. Prophet said, Ali yun ma'al haqqe wal haqqo ma'a Ali yin. Ali is with the truth and righteousness and truth and righteousness is with Ali. Right? Because lots of people can say, hey, I am on the right path. Well, which path does Imam Ali belong? That's the right path. Prophet has already said, Ali is with the haqq and truth and righteousness. Well, haqqo ma'a aliyin and haqq and truth and righteousness is with Ali. And not only that, Prophet added, Allahumma adiril haqqa ma'ahu haythodar. In another hadith, Prophet added, Oh my Lord, rotate the After the Holy Prophet has already prayed to Allah and it's a done deal. Allahumma adiril haqqa ma'ahu. Oh my Lord, rotate the haqq and truth and righteousness with Ali wherever he goes. So Prophet has said to Ammar ibn al-Yasir al-Kindi, lo salakan naso wadiyan. If people went towards a valley, wa salaka aliyun wadiyan. And Ali went towards another valley, fasluk wadiyan salakahu aliyun. You go towards the valley where Ali went and leave the entire humanity aside. This is the courage we want to build in our youth, in our generations. This is, this is the key to our success, to stick to the walaya, to have resilience and to maintain, to resist over the walaya of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Prophet has been introducing so much. In another hadith, the Holy Prophet has said, about Imam Ali alayhi salam, which he has been introducing Imam Ali alayhi salam and uh, teaching the humanity about Imam Ali alayhi salam throughout his life. This is narrated in a Sunni book, Majma'u Zawa'id, written by Al Haysami. So, volume 9, page 130, 131, where Prophet has said, according to this narration, that Walladi Nafsi Bayadihi. I swear to the one who has my life in his control. 
لولا ان يقول فيك طوائف من امتي ما قالت النصارى في عيسى ابن مريم had it not been that means in other words if this fear was not there that some people from my nation will end up saying about you what the christians have said about jesus son of mary well, we know what christians have said they call him the son of god so prophet is saying in other words if i was not afraid that some people in my nation will end up saying about you what the uh, christians have uh, have said about jesus son of mary i would have said if that fear was not there in other words i would have said about you maqalan la tamurru bi ahadin min almuslimin illa akhadha turab min isri qadamayka yatlubu bihi albaraka you won't pass by any of the muslim i would have said a statement that you won't pass by any of the muslims except they're going to pick up the soil from under your feet for seeking barakat and blessing how much prophet has introduced imam ali alayhi salam throughout his life right from the da'wat of zul ashira the first time he invited his own family because in islam you know correcting ourselves and correcting our family comes first before i can start propagation to others prophet started the propagation right from his family members invited them for three days on food and invited them towards allah towards one one god and each day prophet was asking the question from the people that um, who is going to assist me and imam ali is the only one who uh, announced his support to the holy prophet and that's where prophet announced about the imamat of imam ali wizarat of imam ali salam imam ali being the khalifa and vice chairman of the holy prophet right from the beginning of his propagation up till the end of his life up till the sermon of ghadir prophet is calling about uh, you know teaching us the importance of the walayat and sticking to the walayat of imam ali by saying man kuntu maulahu fa hadha ali un maula hum shawa i am his maula and master and ruler this ali is his maula as well throughout his life he have been doing that right so it takes a person to be blind at heart this is what we call blind at heart some people have their eyesight intact but they are blind at heart so they believe in the holy prophet but they still disbelieve in the walayat of imam ali alayhi salam it takes a person to be blind it takes a muslim to be blind at heart not to see the importance of the walayat of imam ali in the teachings of the holy prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wasallam said salawat so Imam Ali alayhi salam is the one for whom this ayat also is revealed, which I recited. Wala nablu wannakum bi shay'im min al khawfi wal ju. So Imam Sadiq alayhi salam in his tafsir is teaching us this ayat is for Imam Ali alayhi salam. He is the biggest mistake. He is the biggest subject of this ayat. That's what we learn in the light of the hadith. So. Shay'im min al khawf. How was Imam Ali tested through the fear? Well, all the qital, all the hurub, all the wars that had been waged by disbelievers against the Holy Prophet, and Imam Ali Islam was the champion in every battle, right? If you remember the battle of the trench, Pandak, and you find that this evil guy. This evil oppressor Amr ibn Abdul Wahab crosses the trench and starts insulting the Holy Prophet, and the same pattern of insult of the Prophet continues even today. We never insult. We in the Islam of Ahlul Bayt, we teach our people, our community to respect your Jewish neighbors, respect your Christian neighbors, respect your Buddhist neighbors. We are teaching respect, but there are others who are insulting the Holy Prophet. That's their value system. This is about who we are. So a uh, disinsult has been going on by disbelievers throughout the history this is nothing new and we strongly denounce the insult policy so and he started to insult the holy prophet this oppressor amr ibn abdul and prophet is asking the people to take care of him 
and nobody comes from none of those ashab and companions who were prophet present there it, actually the narration says they were lowering their heads as if they were birds sitting over their heads so if they raise their heads the bird would fly away such a cowardice displayed by those of the uh, ashab and companions and it was imam ali salam who expressed his willingness and this is where imam ali salam was sent by the holy prophet again in this in this event of khandaq the battle of khandaq waged by the disbelievers and imam as imam ali goes towards that opponent prophet has said baraz al iman kulluhu ila shirk kullihi that means the entire iman and faith has went towards the entire shirk recite salawat please so and when imam ali alayhi salam returns back victoriously and this is where the holy prophet again remarked his famous statement about uh, amir mu'minin alayhi salam by saying darbatu aliyin yawm al khandaq afdal min ibadat al saqalain ila yawm al qiyama the strike of ali on the day of khandaq is superior than the worship of humans and jinns till the day of judgment that means all the human beings that are going to come till the day of judgment and all the jinns whatever worships they may do up till the day of judgment you uh, you know uh, if you weigh those worships this one strike of imam ali was superior than all the worships of all the humans and jinns combined till the day of judgment and this is so true islam would have been gone islam would have ended on that day had it not been for imam ali to defend islam and defend the holy prophet so this is amir mu'min ali sahib why wouldn't his love be islam hubbuka iman your love is iman and your hatred is kufr disbelief and nifaq hypocrisy imam ali alayhi salam is the mizan and scale of islam and iman it has to be the case now every war that imam ali alayhi salam was fighting to defend islam was a test of imam ali alayhi salam uh, and uh, this is the test of Allah regarding the fear. Shay'in min al-khawfi wal jew the next word in the ayat and the test Allah is going to test through hunger. Imam Ali was tested through hunger as well. How much he was tested? He was fasting every now and then. If we fast for three days, if we fast for three days every month, it's counted as if we have fasted for for the entire month and if this pattern continues throughout the year then obviously it's going to be counted that we fasted for uh, for the entire year so imam ali islam was fasting so much and even the food that he was consuming was such this such a simple food that you can't find any example other than the prophet and ahlul bayt salam and there shall be no human being born till the day of judgment who can claim that my food and my lifestyle is more simple than the food and the lifestyle of imam ali and sayyida fatima and holy prophet muhammad sallallahu nobody can ever make a claim like this because they set the bar so high eating barley barley in those days were given to the horses usually the humans didn't use to consume barley imam ali islam eating the bread of barley is such a simple lifestyle hasbi min ta'am he had said in his famous hadith hasbi min ta'am ma yuqimu dhahri wa la yamna'uni min ibadati rabbi that much food is sufficient for me that straightens my back and doesn't stop me from worshiping from the worship of my lord it is such a simple food and likewise the test of imam ali alayhi salam regarding naqsim min al amwal decrease in the wealth by mola imam ali alayhi salam he set free 1000 slaves from his own income islam bans slavery 
in those days, Arabs of Jahiliyyat, Arabs of the ignorance era, were into the slavery, which is condemned by Islam. Imam Ali used to purchase the slaves with his own income and set them free. He set free 1,000 slaves by purchasing from different people. This is, and uh, he gives away the money, one dirham in the daytime, one unit of the currency in the daytime, one unit of the currency in the nighttime, one unit of the currency in the uh, in the open and another one in the hidden allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sends the verse of holy quran in the favor of imam ali alayhi salam alladheena yunfiquna amwalahum bil layli wan nahar sirran wa alaniya so we learn in the light of this verse those people who give away their money and uh, at the night and at the daytime hiddenly and openly so how many verses of the Holy Quran are in the favor of Imam Ali alayhi salam? So uh, it is the test of Imam Ali alayhi salam about, uh, uh, about al-anfus. That means the lives of people will also be put to test. They will get killed in the way of Allah. Imam Ali is a shaheed, is a martyr. He's killed in the way of Allah. Prophet already prophesied in his hadith that you know, your beard will become red with the blood of your head. That was the prophecy of the Holy Prophet. Imam Ali Islam had said, ashqaha. So he, he was also waiting for that time until in the 19th of the month of Ramadan. This is where Ibn Muljim, la'natullahi alayhi, the most shaki and stone-hearted, worse than stone-hearted person. Some people are actually worse than stone-hearted. Stone-hearted is not the right translation because there are stones you see out there in the wilderness. There are stones that break open and fountains of water burst out of the stones. So such a soft thing like water can rip apart a, such a hard thing as stones. But the hearts of some people never melt. So it's wrong to say they are stone-hearted. They're actually, certain people are worse than stone-hearted. We call, in Arabic, we call them shaqiyul qalb. They're worse than stone-hearted. So this stone, worse than stone-hearted, this uh, shaqiyul qalb person shows up and strikes over the head of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Ibn Muljim al-Muradi la'natullahi alayhi. So Imam Ali alayhi salam has been put to test about giving away his life for the sake of Allah. He becomes a martyr, a shaheed on the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And likewise, he's tested about a samarat, the fruits. the fruits. Like I said earlier, that this has been interpreted in the hadith, that the test about the fruits means that our children will, will die. Imam Ali al-Islam has his children, Hassan and Hussein, both of them slaughtered in the way of Allah, in the path of nobility, in the path of divine values. What a better way of giving. Everybody's going to die, right? We, nobody can save our, the life. Uh, whoever has been given the life has to die. I'm going to die. Everybody's going to die today or tomorrow. It's a fact of life. Instead of running away from it, let's embrace it. Let's be prepared for it. Let's do something that benefits us on the day of judgment in front of the Lord. So Imam Ali's children, Hassan and Hussein, both of them were slaughtered in the way of Allah. Uh, you know, and uh, as uh, Imam Ali was going towards the battle of Sifin against Muawiyah, on his way, he passed by through the place which today is called Karbala. And this is where Imam Ali Islam started to cry. This is again another sunnat of the Holy Prophet and sunnat of Imam Ali salam to cry over Imam al Hussein. If we don't even cry, it's just a natural phenomenon crying over somebody's, you know, going through certain pains and sufferings. We are naturally going to burst into tears. That's what we need to teach our children. Al Buka o Al Al Hussein. Crying over Imam al Hussein is a great divine value. We need to transfer it to our children. 
That shows we are not stone hearted. That shows we still have a heart. That shows we are still having the values. Right? Some people never cry. Oh, even on Imam Hussain alayhi salam. Well, it's a problem. It's actually a very big problem. Not crying over Imam Hussain. Because crying over Imam Hussain again is also a guarantee for our success. So Imam, Imam Ali -Salam cries over Imam Hussain. Prophet cried when Imam Hussain was a baby and he was given into the lap of the Holy Prophet right after his birth. Prophet cried. The sunnah of the Holy Prophet. That's the tradition of the Holy Prophet. That's the lifestyle of the Holy Prophet. It's part of his policy of life. Imam Ali cried. Sayyidah Fatima cried. All the Ahlul Bayt cried over Imam Hussain. So Imam Ali cries over Imam Hussain. And Imam Hussain is still alive. And he's with Imam Ali -Salam, going towards the Battle of Safin against Muawiyah. And he cries. And then Abdullah ibn Abbas is the narrator of that narration. And uh, Imam Ali -Salam said to Abdullah ibn Abbas, this is a Muslim, why I'm paraphrasing the long narration in my own words, that I saw Imam Ali slept there for a while. And then he woke up, he said, he said, I saw that there is a stream of blood. And I saw my son, I saw Hussein drowning in that stream of blood. And he's calling for help and nobody is coming to help him. And then he turns to Imam Hussein alayhi salam and said, what he said that whatever is going to come to you from Ali Abu Sufyan, from the family of Abu Sufyan, the similar of that has come to me as well. Imam Ali faced similar kind of hardships as well from the same evil family of Abu Sufyan. And uh, this is where my Mawla advises Imam Hussain Islam to do sabr. And he replies back that I'm going to do the appreciated way of sabr, which we say sabrun jameel. You know, when we console each other over the death of somebody, we say, may Allah grant you sabr jameel. May Allah give you the sabr jameel, right? What's the sabr jameel? Sabr jameel is defined by scholars of akhlaq, like uh, you learn the medical science and they teach you about various illnesses and their symptoms and their signs and their cures and their root causes. Similarly, in the Islamic houses, we have been taught about the science of Islamic morality and science of Islamic values and all the moral attributes that adorns the soul of the human being. And what are the spiritual illnesses and what are the symptoms and the signs and the cures? of those spiritual, a person lies. Why in the world a person lies? There's a root for that in the soul of the person. Until you root out that root from his soul, he shall continue to lie. So there's a root in the soul. You need to discover that root. Why is a person has, a person has hypocrisy, nifaq? Why is a person performs ghibat and backbiting? Why a person is gossiping, tohmat, chukhal khori, slander, and so on and so forth, all the illnesses. So this is something defined in the science of Islamic morality and spirituality, which is very, very interesting and amazing science to study. So what I was saying is that Imam al Hussein is a sabrun jameel, is that patience, it's an attribute of, of a person's spirituality to have sabr and patience. Sabrun jameel is that kind of patience where you have zero complaint against Allah and his decision. But sometimes we get uh, more pious, more obedient to our Lord, more practicing, more religious, more spiritually nicer and better. We don't complain against Allah and his decisions by, uh, by our tongues orally. But some people still feel in their deep down in their hearts, why is Allah doing this to me? Why me? Why is he doing this to me? The guy still has complained in the heart against Allah's decision. He fails to understand the wisdom of the all-wise creator. He fails to understand the wisdom of the all-knowing creator. Right? So if even if, if we have a complaint against Allah's decisions, 
in the heart. This is not called sabrun jameel, the appreciated way of patience. The appreciated way of patience is that we'd have zero complaint against Allah's decisions, what he is doing to us in our lives. We have zero complaint towards that even inside our hearts. This is, the, this is what the pious people are expected to do because Allah is just. We are not like those sects of Islam who believe God can do a smaller sin and he can do, even do a bigger sin. God forbid, you know, he, he can send even Yazid to the hellfire. Alhamdulillah, all the praise belongs to Allah. We are not like those stupid Wahhabi, Takfiri people. We are not like those stupid Taliban and stupid Al-Qaeda and stupid ISIS people created by the Zionist bosses and funded by the House of Saud barbarians. We are not like them. We are the followers of Ahlul Bayt. We are the people of justice and peace. Alhamdulillah for that. Right? So you find among that category of people, there are some people who believe even God can send Yazid to the, to the paradise. Wow, then why in the world is the, there's a need to create heaven and hell? And anybody can be sent to the paradise then. There are no principles, reckless and lawless behavior. So Alhamdulillah, we are not like one of them. We believe God is just. That's what in Ilmul Irfan they say, which is the most superior knowledge of Islam. In Ilmul Irfan they say, you get what you deserve. Any blessing that I fail to receive from God, it's not because God is a miser. God forbid, God is not a miser. Miserliness and stinginess is a condemned attribute. And we say, subhanallah, we glorify our Lord from all the condemned attributes. He's not a miser. Then why in the world he didn't give that blessing to me? And he gave it to somebody else. Because simple answer, I didn't deserve it. You get what you deserve. Until I make myself deserving. And then I find the blessing coming my way. Because God is adil and just, right? So every problem we face in the practical uh, lives takes its roots to one or several problems the person is facing in the belief system. If you don't believe God is just, then that's the natural outcome. You may start complaining against God's disease decisions. But if you believe that God is just, he has justice, he's just, he's the source of justice, he is all knowledgeable and all wise, then there is no room for a person to complain against the all knowledgeable, all wise and just Lord. Doesn't that make sense? So Imam Ali is asking Imam Hussein to do sabr and Imam Hussein replies, he's going to do the appreciated sabr. Sabr and Jameel. And then before I come to the end of my speech, then when Imam Ali's brother Ja'far al-Tayyar. See, the end of the ayat says, وَبَشِّرِ الصَّابِرِينَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا أَصَابَتْهُمْ مُصِيبَةً قَالُوا إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ Give the basharat and glad tidings to those sabirin, those people who have sabr. So, when musibat and calamity befalls them, they say, إِنَّا لِلَّهِ وَإِنَّا إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُونَ كَلِمَةُ الْإِسْتِرْجَاءِ Definitely we belong to Allah and definitely towards him we are returning back. So this Kalimatul Istarja, what's the history of that? When the brother of Imam Ali, Hazrat Ja'far al-Tayyar, Salamullahi alayhi, was sent to the Battle of Mota to defend Islam against the battle waged by the enemies. So uh, this is where the enemies chopped off one hand of Ja'far al-Tayyar, right hand was chopped off and the curtains was remo were removed. Curtain was removed. So he was looking at the Holy Prophet for all the way from the location of the Battle of Mauta, all the way towards the city of Medina. And he was looking at the Holy Prophet and Prophet was looking at him. The narration tells us. And his left Prophet was uh, looking at him and seeing the final moments of the Battle of Ja'far al-Tayyar alayhi salam brother of Imam Ali alayhi salam. His left arm was chopped again. And then this is the, this is the, this is the that's the moment where Jafar al Islam looks towards the Holy Prophet. Just to correct the narration. That's the time he looks towards the Holy Prophet 
and says, Assalamu alayka, Ya Rasulullah. Salam be on you, O the Messenger of Allah. Salam a muwaddi' la salam a za'ir. That means salam of the departing person, not the za'ir. This is the last salam, the farewell salam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala granted two wings to Hazrat Ja'far at Tayyar, brother of Imam Ali alayhi salam, and he's flying in the paradise with those two wings. When this news of the martyrdom of Ja'far at Tayyar reached Imam Ali alayhi salam, he learned that his brother was martyred. Imam Ali was the first individual in the history of humankind who ever said, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. First person ever. Look at how much Allah liked the sentence of Imam Ali alayhi salam. Allah made it a sunnah for the entire humanity. For all of us to follow the footsteps of Amir al Mu'mineen wa Imam al Muttaqin Ali ibn Abi Talib. We need to say uh, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon as well on the footsteps of Imam Ali alayhi salam. And now it's, it's obviously it's part of the ayat of Quran. So Imam Ali is the one who said this sentence first. And Imam Hussain also said that sentence in Karbala. Remember? Inna lillah wa inna ilayhi rati'oon. Rudam bi qada'ihi wa tasliman li amri. So, this is, today we are commemorating the demise of a father. And the children are sad over this demise. And that reminds me of a father and a son in Karbala. In Karbala, there were lots of fathers and sons. But it reminds me of Hazrat Ali Akbar, alayhi salam, and Imam Hussain, alayhi salam. How much Imam Hussein loved Ali Akbar? So some of the scholars say that it was actually Ali Akbar who was sent first ahead of others, ahead of sending anybody else among the Banu Hashim. Imam Hussein, being the Imam, took a lead over everyone else, including the Banu Hashim, the Hashimites, and he sent his own son first. He's the Imam. Imam takes a lead over every khair and goodness. Ali Akbar is sent first. A mama of Rasulullah was placed over the head of Ali Akbar. And Imam Hussein, Sayyid ibn Ta'us says, Imam Hussein said, Allahum mashhad ala ha'ula ilqawm. Oh my Lord, be a witness against these people. Faqad baraza ilayhim ghulamun ashbahun nas khalqan wa khulqan wa mantiqan bi rasulik. Now that young man is going towards them who is the most resembling person towards your messenger in terms of his creation. That means in terms of his appearance. Khalqan. Wa khulqan. In terms of his morality. Wa mantiqan. In terms of his talk. Wa kunna iza ishtakna ila ziyarati nabiyyika nazarna ilayhi. And whenever we were eager to do the ziyarat of your prophet, Whenever we were eager to see your prophet, we used to look at him. So Imam Hussain used to do the ziyarat of Rasulullah by looking at the handsome face of Ali Akbar. He was so much resembling to his great-grandfather. And uh, uh, he also sent his, you know, a, a curse. He, he also cursed Umar ibn Sa'ad, la'natullahi alayhi, qata'allahu rahimaka kama qata'ta rahimi. May Allah cut your lineage the way you cut my lineage. Ali Akbar is sent. And uh, after Ali Akbar departs, some scholars have said that he finds uh, as if somebody is chasing him. As he turns around to see, it is nobody else other than Imam al Hussein is coming after Ali Akbar. How much Imam Hussein loved Ali Akbar. We can't understand. Even Ali Akbar cannot understand because Ali Akbar doesn't have a son like Ali Akbar to understand the pain of Imam al Hussein. Some of the scholars even mentioned that Ali Akbar was advised to keep on turning his face as long as he can, keep on turning his face towards Imam Hussein so Imam Hussein can keep on looking at him as much as he can. 
how much he loved Ali Akbar. And when Ali Akbar did his battle for a while, then he comes back and he asks Imam Hussain if he can get some water. Well, all of them are thirsty. There's no water. It's about three days or more. And this is a, my Mawla Imam Hussain. Well, how can he give the water? There is no water available. So Imam Hussain salam, shows his tongue to Ali Akbar. Imam Hussain shows his tongue to Ali Akbar. And he said that your tongue is even drier than my tongue. And Imam Hussain comforts his son by saying, in other words, that, that Rasulullah, soon Rasulullah is going to provide you with the drink of Kawthar, drink of the fountain of Kawthar. So um, at that time, Ali Akbar said something into the ear of Imam al Hussein. Fabaka buka an alien. Imam Hussein cried with a loud voice. Imam Hussein was made to cry a lot on the day of Ashura for so much pains and sufferings that those evil people caused for him. But some of the times, my Mola Imam Hussein cried with a loud voice. One of those occasions where Imam Hussain cried with a loud voice is this, when Ali Akbar whispered something into the ear of Imam Hussain. And when his sister asked about the reason why he is crying, this is where my Mola, in other words, he replies back that it's a tradition that the father does his will towards the son. But today the son is doing the will and wasiya towards the father. Ali Akbar was sent, he was sent again towards the battlefield and he went there, he did his battle and when he fell down over the ground, this is the first person in Karbala, dear brothers and sisters, the first person and the only martyr in Karbala for which Sayyidah Zainab makes herself reach Ali Akbar ahead of Imam al Hussein. She, how much Sayyidah Zainab helped Imam al Hussein? She knew how much Imam al Hussein loved Ali Akbar. She reaches to Ali Akbar ahead of Imam al Hussein. And my Mola Imam al Hussein, when he arrives, he sees Ali Akbar is now comforting his father. A few minutes away, Imam Hussein comforted his son by saying, Rasulullah is going to provide drink of the fountain of Kausar drink of the kawsar to him. Now Ali Akbar is comforting his father by saying, Hada jaddi Rasulullah. This is my grandfather Rasulullah. Yaqra'uka salam. He's saying salam to you. A uh, prophet was saying, Ajil al quduba ilayna. Come quicker to us. He conveys the message of Rasulullah to Imam al Hussein, And Ali Akbar has, uh, you know, uh, the he had the, the part of spear, the head of the spear stuck into his chest. How, how can a father tolerate his son being in such a pain? You know, this the head of the spear is stuck in the chest of Ali Akbar. Now Imam al Hussein is trying to take that head of spear out of his chest to relieve his son from that pain. I would like to say to Prophet Ibrahim, when you went out to slaughter your son Ismail, you were blindfolded at that time. Please come and see in the plains of Karbala when Imam al Hussein is taking out the head of the spear from the chest of his son. He's not blindfolded at that time. And Ali Akbar's soul departs. And this is where my Mola puts his cheek, Sayyid ibn Ta'us narrates. Imam Hussein puts his cheek over the cheek of his son, Ali Akbar and said, dunya afa. In other words, there is no benefit in staying in this dunya after you. بحق الزهراء وأبيها وبعها وبنيها والسر المستودع فيها مارلها برجم إسلام كسر بلند فرما شرك ونفاق كسر نجوم فرما إلى يا بي إلى بي إسلامي كي فازت فرما
تمام علماء ربانیین تمام مراج کرام بالخصوص رہبر انقلاب کا سایہ ہمارے سروں پہ برقرار تمام مجاہدین اسلام بالخصوص جو حرم ہائے مقدسہ کا عراق میں اور شام میں جناب زینب سلام اللہ علیہ کے حرم کا دفاع کر رہے ہیں ان کی نصرت فرما تمام خسرائے اسلام بالخصوص شیخ زکزکی ان کی زوجہ چھ شہیدوں کی ماں اور تمام مومنین اور مومنات جو کہ نائجیریا کے زندانوں میں ہیں تمام مومنات اور مومنین جو بحرین کے زندانوں میں ہیں جو حجاز کے زندانوں میں ہیں جو پاکستان کے زندانوں میں ہیں اور جہاں کہیں زندان ہائے ظلم میں مومنین و مومنات ہیں ان کو جلد سے رہا فرما تمام مومنین کی جان و مال و آبرو کی حفاظت فرما تمام مومنین کو وظائف شرعیہ پر عمل کرنے کی توفیق عنایت فرما مالحا مرحوم شاعر اہل بیت سید عروج اختر زیدی ان کی مغفرت فرما ان پہ رحمت ان کے درجات کو بلند فرما جوار امام حسین اور امام حسن علیہ السلام میں جگہ نصیب فرما ان کے بات ماندگان کو صبر جمیل عنایت فرما ہمیں اس وقت تک اس دنیا سے نہ اٹھا جب تک امام زمانہ ہم سے راضی نہ ہو جائیں ان کے ظہور میں تعدیل کرنا ان کے انصار و اشیاء میں قرار دے قبل منا ان کا انت سمیع العلیم بجاہ محمد و آل القادرین ایک سور فاتح کی مزید درخواست ہے آپ حضرات سے مرحوم سید عروج اختر زیدی فرزند سید اختر رضا زیدی یہ سب آپ کا یہ ایک مرتبہ اور سور فاتحہ میری نانی مرحومہ سیدہ ریحان فاطمہ اور مرحوم سید اختر رضا زیدی کے لیے بھی ایک سور فاتحہ رجب جب امام حسین مدینہ سے کربلا کے سفر کو آج میرا مولا سفر میں ہے سفر کربلا میں جس طرح مولانا نے پڑھا ختم نہیں ہوا بلکہ یہ قافلہ شام اور کوفہ کے بازاروں میں پھیلا ہماری ازاداری ہمارے یہ آنسو ہی ہیں جو کسی بھی مرحوم کے کام آ سکتے ہیں سوز کے دو تین بند ہیں میں افسوس افسوس نبی زادیوں کا شام میں جانا سچات سے پوچھو افسوس نبی زادیوں کا شام میں جانا سجاد سے پوچھو اور سر ننگے وہ ماؤں بہنوں کا بازار میں جانا سجاد سے پوچھو 
वैसे तो मौला सजाद का नाम ही रोने के लिए काफी है मौला सजाद ने जितने मसायब देखे हैं शायद किसी इमाम ने देखे हुए उनके पांच ऐसे मसायब थे जो शायर ने बयान किए हैं के लिए के लिए हर एक शेर काफी है आपकी समातों की नजर करता हूं चुपती नबीजादी नबीजादी के पीछे इस शर्मोहया से चुपती नबीजादी नबीजादी के पीछे इस शर्मोहया से और शिम्र का और शिम्र का उन बीबियों के नाम बताना सज्जाद से पूछो और शिम्र का उन बीबियों के नाम बताना सज्जाद से पूछो बैठे हुए दरबार में सब छोटे बड़े थे सादात खड़े थे बैठे हुए दरबार में सब छोटे बड़े थे सादात खड़े थे रखा हुआ जैनब को दिखाना सज्जाद से पूछो जब दुख तरे ने जिंदा में कजा की आपत की घड़ी थी जब दुख तरे शबीर ने जिंदा में कजा की आपत बंधे हाथों से उठाना सज्जाद से पूछो वो शाम अलमवर और तमाचों की वो बोझा वो शाम अलमवर और तमाचों की वो बोछा वो बच्ची के रुखसा अब्बास को अब्बास को रो रो के सकीना का बुलाना सज्जाद से पूछो 
मुंह पर से सकीना का हटाना सज्जाद से पूछो या उसे या उसे या उसे मरने को है मेरी जहना अब वक्त आखरी जहना सलाम तुम पे ए बाबा की लाडली और जैनब ने कहा कौन है पर देश में मेरा क्यों जाते हो तुम छोड़ के भैया मुझे तन्हा जैनब को हर एक मोड़ पे कर पाएगी दुनिया याद आओगे भैया हरे याद आओगे भैया हरे याद आओगे भैया और याद आएगा भैया मुझे अरे मान तुम्हारा तुम देख नहीं पाए हो अकबर का जो सहरा कावत को ही शादी की मदीने में जो देखा याद आओगे भैया आए याद आओगे भैया और दीदार भी हो जाएगा बेटी के बाहर 
दिखाई जाती है नमस्ते हम दिखाई जाती है नमस्ते हम दिखाई जाती है याद आती है एक नन्ही लहद याद आती है एक नन्ही लहद याद आती है एक नन्ही लहद